Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. Got fifty thousand dollars to represent you. Did he not? I don't know exactly how much he got. I don't know. I okay. Can't say. All right. And you knew that. Just we're all clear here. That money came from CMG, right? Yeah. You got fifty thousand dollars to pay a lawyer, right? I didn't get it in my hand. Three. I don't know how much it was, but three. My lawyer. Got okay. And there's no question that that money was for services rendered. Killing dog. Based. You took it, didn't you? Wow, wow. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching Boss Talk 101 Reviews. Um, hey, you know, here we go again, man. Like, I don't know how much you guys pay attention to Boss Talk, but Boss Talk, before Boss Talk, and I got video that'll, that'll prove it, I spoke on Dolph and Gotti uh, when Yo Gotti and Dolph were both alive and well, and I was just saying that, you know, man, somebody need to speak up, speak out. I'll never forget those early times. Like I said, this was way before Boss Talk. It went viral, it's crazy. People in the family, I remember them saying, man, you everywhere, we see you everywhere. Well, fast forward, um, I believe that was 20, that might have been 2018, 2017. Uh, fast forward to the day it was around the time when Dolph had gotten shot in California when I spoke on it. Uh, you know, these guys, man, like I said, uh, these guys are really, really, you know, they're young black men. And I know you guys get tired of me on my soapbox, but the trial has happened. Names have been given. Yo Gotti's uh, camp, CMG, uh, named in on this trial throughout. Um, Dolph is dead. Um, someone gunned him down at Makita's Cookie Shop. You guys seen when I interviewed the owner of Makita's Cookie Shop, the daughter. Um, it's, a, it's, it's pretty much, hey, it's, it's happened and Dolph's dead. Now God is being implicated in a RICO, allegedly. That's what people are saying, they're coming for him. I don't understand, I, I think you guys didn't truly understand where, when I first spoke on this, if I was at liberty to speak on this. I don't know if you guys understand, but when you've been in that courtroom and you've been through situations where you've seen things happen to where they turn the narrative. Now, Juke is dead. They only got Yo Gotti. He's the last man standing. They're looking at, um, this case, believe me, when they start looking, they don't stop. The prosecuting attorney and all those guys, I can promise you, they're not gonna let this go. They're trying to figure out a way, the federal, uh, the feds are trying to figure out a way, hey, how can we get uh, justice? How can we prosecute to the fullest? Um, this is what they do. This is their job. This is what they stand on. Like I say, whether your guy that had something to do with it or not, they're not going to rest easy until they figure out a way to, you know, uh, you know, feel that they've done everything they can do to exhaust all their resources on trying to figure out how to, you know, get justice for Dolph's death. The uh, guy have died now. And, and, and to be honest with you, you know, this something that should have been spoke on by the OGs a long time ago. If you go back and listen to my interview years ago, now we're talking many years ago, people that hang out with these guys, that drink with these guys, OGs that they looked up to, nobody ever, you never see nothing publicly, nobody saying anything publicly. They too gangster to speak on it. You've heard me say that a lot of times that you're going to go out and celebrate with these guys, man. If you're not w willing to say, hey, man, how can we, how can we bring things together? What can we do? Where's the, where, where, oh, well, we said something, it was behind closed doors. Really? I just know you guys partied together. I seen that in, without with closed doors, both sides partying. Uh, people partying with both of them, but never speaking publicly about the issues and when people were getting shot down. 
Th this is something you got to realize, guys. Like I said, the one, I'm not, I don't know either one of these guys. I never, I, I've been in the room with Gotti. I met Gotti a couple of times, but I, I never got to meet Dolph. I would have loved to meet Dolph. I'm a big Key Glock fan. Um, just, it's a sad thing to see all of these families and all of these people going through what they're going through. And it's just crazy to me, you know, for, for you not to think that big, this guy can get up on the stage, Mr. Smith, he gets up on the stage, he starts to um, tell all the stories of, of how he felt like he got paid, his lawyer got paid, Cornelius Smith testified, my lawyer got paid by CMG, my lawyer got paid, uh, you know, they implicated, Big Juke name was the whole time, case. Whole time trial going on, Big Juke's name still it being, and he's passed on, but he was exec over at CMG. What do you think they're gonna do? The only one they need to go to, or have to go to, or is here to go to, is your Gotti. So n now you got all these people, somebody gonna go to prison, somebody going in, somebody's end up dead. I can go back to my original, my original uh, video when I spoke on this, when nobody had died. Well, no, and I hate to even get on here. At first, I wasn't going to say nothing. But, I mean, I spoke on it in a way. I see Gotti. He he, he pulls up. Uh, just him and Boosie. I just seen this. Yeah, artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like a ain't been in the game since age. Yeah. Yeah. I see this come up. I swear to God, I see this come up. Yeah. How you yeah. feeling, good artist? Yeah. I appreciate oh, you. Man. Every time, man. Yeah, you good? Every time, I need that Boosie, man. Yeah. You know, I need you. So, see, you, you hadn't seen this in Gotti lately. You, I hadn't seen Gotti popping out. So now he's popping out, you know. Um, hey, I'm telling you, man, Diddy, uh, all these different people, like I said, the list goes on. Uh, everybody that's been going through it, Young Thug, all these hip-hop people, man, they, they coming and they're not playing. And it's crazy because they're coming because these people have been given opportunity. I remember speaking on it first and I said, these guys are millionaires. What are you so upset about? Why do you want to do each other such, so, so much harm? Whether it was over a lady, whether it was over music, whatever it was over. Do you feel like you've done everything that you wanted to do? The ones that are here, the loved ones that are here missing their loved ones that are gone. What is this, man? Brothers, we need to stop. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, y'all, Rico, Gotti, they're saying, everybody's saying, they're coming for him. Get in the comments, let me know. Do you guys think that Yo Gotti has to be worried about something? Or do we think with the way he popped out with Boosie, should he be calm, cool, and collective? Was this a show of everything's all right on my end? I'm lawyered up. I'm ready to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you feel like Yo Gotti will be picked up or, or, or question uh, brought in on a Rico? Give me, let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. Boss Talk 101 review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.